Hello. Welcome to the video to learn about the new features that are available on the 2018.18.03 release of CCH Pro System FX Practice Management. This release will be available on Sunday, December 9th for the work week starting Monday, December 10th, 2018. New enhancements to employee productivity goals. Formerly employee budgets include goal setup starts with a grid of employees that can be grouped or handled one at a time. Employees will now have goal to actual updates on a new tab in their dashboard. When starting a new year, the firm may now roll employee goals quickly to the new year. Let's look at changes to the firm setup for reporting employee goals. Reporting periods can now reflect the firm annual employee review timeline. This now accommodates firm reviews based on their fiscal year or based on a calendar year end. Let's look at changes in the setup of employee goals. Setup goals was formerly employee budget hours. The header displays the firm year and period type designated in the firm setup for reporting. Select the period for entering the goals. Then select employees and click enter period hour goals. Next, if you selected multiple employees, enter goals one at a time or enter like goals for groups of employees in a single stroke. When entering employee goals, use the view yearly goals for review. Employee goals are displayed for each period entered in the year. For firms that elect to have employees enter their own goals, my goals from the time entry activities menu now has a new label my employee productivity goals let's look at the new tab on the employee dashboard the header on the new my productivity goals tab provides the ability to look up goals for the prior years if data has been entered for each period in the year the grid displays the employee goal hours the actual hours and the variance additional columns in the grid include non-billable hours and total hours. Productivity ratios are calculated and presented for goals and actual with variances. Billing realization goals, now entered per period, are included with the actual percentages. Employee goal, find and change includes label changes. Productivity goals replaces budgets on the employee find and change navigation bar. Budget hours is replaced with monthly single period if using monthly for the firm periods and editing a single firm period monthly budget hours is replaced with monthly multi period if editing multiple periods copy budget hours is replaced with copy goals a new option has been added to roll employee goals from one year to the next the roll productivity goals form displays the year type that has been selected for the firm calendar or fiscal year. The firm budget period is also displayed which can be monthly, semi-monthly or weekly. The view goals to roll provides the ability to view three different years of goal entries. Last year, the current year, from the system date, and the next year. The grid includes employees with goal statistics summed for the year. Percentages are an average for the year. Depending on the time of the year, most firms will want to roll the current year goals to the next year. If the firm waits until the new year, they may still roll the goals from the previous year. Report names have changed. The standard report and the custom library report, each named employee budgets is replaced with a new name, employee productivity goals. The reports remain the same. Other enhancements requested for practice management. Load time requires project IDs for client projects when importing time. Project IDs have been added to the client list in Report Writer. You may now create a client list of projects, including the project ID required for load time. For firms that want a list of the linked tax client IDs to the practice management clients, can now create a list using the Report Write client list, which contains the tax client ID. Thank you for watching the video to learn about what's new on the 2018.18.03 release of Pro System FX Practice Management.